Hello, my good friends. Happy Sunday to all of you. It has been confirmed that millions of low and middle income households across our country will receive boosted maximum monthly benefits this month. Our federal government has also just began a new relief program that will provide eligible Americans with an extra stimulus check. So my friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video to learn if you are eligible for this additional relief. Also, make sure to share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable stimulus news. If you would like to enter my $75 Walmart gift card giveaway where I will be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards this coming Friday, then please make sure to listen for the keyword from this video. A quote from Senator Sununu when he decided that he wasn't going, excuse me, Governor Sununu, when he decided he wasn't going to run for the Senate in New Hampshire. Here's what he said. They were all, for the most, quote, they were all, for the most part, content with the speed at which they weren't doing anything. It was very clear that we just had to hold the line for two years. Okay. So I'm just going to be a roadblock for the next two years? That's not what I do, Sununu said. He went on to say it bothered me that they were okay with that. Then he goes on to say, I said, okay, so we're not going to get stuff done if we win the White House back, if we win the White House back. Why didn't we do anything in 2017 and 2018? All right, my friends. So there is now support available for millions of homeowners in the United States. This relief is part of a federal program that is aimed to help residents who need help to catch up on their late payments. The good news, friends, is that there are still funds to help people who are late paying their mortgage payments, with many homeowners having been affected by the loss of their job or had their hours reduced as a result of this crisis. U.S. President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan Act ensured that there was some stimulus money put aside for states to use to support any vulnerable homeowners who could be at risk of losing their homes. So in order to receive the money, many states had to apply to get the support. According to the National Council of State Housing Agencies, all U.S. states have applied to receive the financial aid for homeowners. Right now, the United States Department of Treasury is looking to work in conjunction with each state to set up their own homeowner assistance fund. The federal program that has been introduced to provide help for homeowners who are struggling to pay their mortgages is called the Homeowner Assistance Fund. There is now a Homeowner Assistance Fund program available in the majority of U.S. states, with pilot programs also on offer. For example, in the state of California, the Mortgage Relief Program has made it possible for each household who are struggling with their mortgage payments in the Golden State to receive up to $80,000. Meanwhile, in the state of New York, there has been such a great demand that the state is no longer giving the green light for applications for any mortgage relief. Anyone living in Chicago, Illinois, will find that the state is creating its own mortgage relief program and will start to accept applications next month. In Chicago, any eligible homeowners will be able to receive up to $30,000 to aid with eliminating or reducing overdue mortgage and property tax payments. So my friends, what are your thoughts on this additional assistance for people who are behind on their mortgage payments? Do you think that our federal government should provide more relief? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Last year's American Rescue Plan did a lot more than just send stimulus checks into Americans' bank account. It also boosted a long-standing credit that families with children have relied on. Prior to 2021, the child tax credit maxed out at $2,000 per child and was only partially refundable. So if someone claiming it had no tax liability, they could not collect their money in full. The child tax credit was also previously paid out in tax refund form, meaning as a single lump sum. 
Last year, the value of the child tax credit increased to a maximum of $3,600 for children under the age of 6 and a maximum of $3,000 for children aged 6 to 17. The credit also changed to become fully refundable, providing more families the opportunity to receive its full value. Just as importantly, half of the credit was paid in monthly installments, so recipients did not have to wait on that money. Friends, the key word for this video is sunset. If you would like to enter next Friday's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below this keyword and also additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. The boosted value of the credit, combined with the fact it was paid monthly, helped millions of American households improve their finances and make ends meet during the second half of 2021. And given that impact, our lawmakers were motivated to keep the boosted version around for another year. President Biden included a one-year extension of the boosted child tax credit into his Build Back Better plan. But that spending bill has been stalled in the Senate and does not seem to be going anywhere. So as of now, the child tax credit will revert to its pre-2021 value for this year. And the monthly installment payment that families enjoyed last year will be off the table. Not only might these changes put many U.S. households in a more precarious financial situation, but they could result in a massive uptick in childhood poverty rates. So my great friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you, thank you so much for everyone who is watching and who's here with me today. I truly appreciate all of you. The three winners of this past Friday's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway are Linda Davenport, James Bell, and Katrina Britty. Congratulations, my friends. Please, friends, do me a big favor and share this video with your family and friends if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. And remember, if you're interested in entering next Friday's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, you simply have to click and like my videos, comment below each keyword from each video of mine that you watch, and please do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.